today we have gathered here to discuss that what has gone wrong with the indian art market we have with us the distinguished industrialist and art patron shri ajay kandruya ji who is not only a highly successful industrialist but also an ardent art collector ajay khan ji has collected several hundred of artworks during past 3 4 decades the specialty about him is that he has not only collected senior old masters but also he has encouraged and collected several upcoming talented artists he has a sharp eye to judge the quality of work and the potential of the artist we are all aware that there are very few art collectors in india and especially for the younger artists the art world has been facing difficult times since 2008 and more especially now after this unfortunate pandemic uh ajay khan ji has been collecting and promoting artists regularly during past several years today we are here to discuss the issues faced by the art collectors and art patrons uh i feel and not only me everybody feels that during past few years the art collectors have shied away from collecting newer artworks shri ajay khan ji firstly i would like to know from you what is your observation why art buyers are shying away from buying art ajay khan ji thank you mardia ji for a very warm welcome and so much of uh, compliments my god i don't know whether i really deserve all that and i'm uh, not a very big art collector compared to a lot of other people yes in terms of quantity yes maybe but in terms of value not so much as you say so but uh, i do enjoy uh, it all started with a uh, when i was in port office and we had the jangir art gallery just three minute walk away from me so why i'm telling you this story is uh, there's a point i was going to make later and that is that if you have proximity to art then you will indulge in it that's the first and foremost thing and the, the proximity of art is lacking uh, i did read your article on the worldarthub.com and that article is one of the most comprehensive article on indian art scene and the indian art business i have read anywhere i i even only if there were more of these articles spread all over the consciousness would indeed increase that is the first and foremost thing for mm. art to be successful so that i really request you to spread this article as much as you can definitely so we'll do that yes uh, also uh, the other point i was trying to make was uh, uh, based on the proximity is the events but the, i i cannot complain because there are so many galleries that are having so many events all the time and they are mixing a lot of other different art in it so there is not anything lacking as far as that is concerned there is enough happening in mumbai to attract people but then that's the point i'm now going to make is mumbai is not the center of the universe of india at least very good uh, what we need is a consciousness in the smaller cities and more in the rural areas mm-hmm. because everything's there in bombay the galleries are there 
the auctions are there. It's all happening here. But then there is so much money in the rural markets because, you know, there's no income tax, first of all, on the agricultural income. So the disposable income is a lot more in the rural areas. And I wouldn't expect any gallery here to open an, a gallery, you know, somewhere in uh, Manik Tala or Aligarh or somewhere, you know. I wouldn't expect that. So they would have to be, that's where the government comes in. And uh, unfortunately, there is Roti Kapra Makan is more of an issue than something hanging on your walls. So I don't know how much we can implore the government to step in and do the bit. But if they do the bit, it is an investment, I will say. In spite of the priorities for food, shelter, and all that, I think if the government steps in and spends some money on this, the the you know the importance of the country increases. The people look at the country with more respect. The respect which we had centuries ago, the respect, the temples, the art, the carvings, what was existing in India, I don't think anywhere else in the world except other than maybe Rome or Egypt, there was this kind of, or China, this kind of culture existed where beauty was given prominence, where beautiful houses, beautiful wall coverings, beautiful pitchwise and all those so, so beautiful carpets. So that, that those were the good old days and the patronage was there from the Maharajas and from the ruler, ruler, uh, ruler uh, the invaders uh, came in later. So that again makes me jump to another point that we were ruled for so many years by a different civilized, by different kind of people, the British, the, you know, different people who invaded from, from uh, uh, let's say, you know, the all Babur. More than thousand years, nearly 800 yeah. years. Yeah. So that probably uh, dampened our culture, our enthusiasm. We were more focused on preserving our lives and learning how to survive under the invaders rather than, you know, have, looking at art. So... Uh, we have to come, we are, we are coming out of that, but very slowly. So, like, for example, the Sanki, Santi Niketan, there's only one, maybe one or mm. two others. That has not been replicated across the country. Very correct. I don't know. Please correct me wherever I'm wrong. You know, I'm, Maybe I'm you are right, sir. Too much knowledge on mm. this, but I feel that was a very good way of nurturing artists. There's one in Tamil Nadu, in Chennai, uh, mm. and there's one here, and a uh, little bit, I think, Puducherry has a little bit of art, I think. So that kind of thing, you know, land has become so costly that uh, it is now un very difficult to have that kind of setup. It has to be very far from the city yes. to have that kind of a setup, and then very few people would then go and, mm. and kind of spend time there. So... And even the patrons would be very not so willing to come. So mm. these are the two or three major factors which I feel. But I think the most important is the rural areas. You see, if we can, if the people can start concentrating on the rural areas and create a consciousness among the rich people, rich farmers. There's mm. one big problem here is uh, uh, space. In big cities, you have small flats. Yes. So, I mean, uh, you you like a very big painting, and let's say it's affordable, but then where do you put it? Very correct. So, so, and therefore you'll find that you'll have bigger paintings which are sold in Delhi mm -hmm. than in Mumbai. See, the Mumbai, the, the poor artist has to wrap up all his big paintings and take it back home after the mm -hmm. show. Because uh, Bombay people uh, do not know where to put up those big paintings. Because the very, very are right. small. Not we don't have the kotis of Delhi. Mm. So, mm. so that is one factor: lack of space, or population density being very large, and mm. real estate consequently becoming expensive. So uh, th that is a factor. Uh, mm. I will now pause. So, if you want to say something.
to me hey, i was just thinking um we have talked about the uh problems faced by the industry problems faced by the um for the development of art but I, my question was that the collectors the art collectors uh till 2008 uh it was a very good period uh there were many collectors coming to the markets there were i remember you why talk about others you used to visit jahangir art gallery whenever you have visited you have always come out with at least five six paintings but i don't see that trend now what has happened that people have start stopped buying art or reduced yeah uh, yes so in jahangir art gallery there are three or four major shows every year bombay art society art society of india and two three others so in this is huge multitude of paintings and art and sculptures and more than 100 artists so there it is uh, you have a big choice and you cannot but help pick up a couple of paintings you see so i always used to go there and i always used to pick up uh, at least like you rightly said i, I mean amazing memory <laughs> you have an amazing observation uh, and and you see this was more for promoting the younger artists yes more for promoting the newer artists they because in art society they would have 90% newer artists or not so new uh, but just 5% masters that mm. masters was to attract the people so i could see something i could see the label the pricing and i didn't have to think it was affordable now i don't know there is some kind of a miss it's an it's an impression that the higher you price your painting the more you become worthy in in the eyes of the collector <laughs> so people i mean very mediocre art 20000 30000 for a small let's say 2 by 3 or something so so i just get disgusted you know i says uh, and you know don't feel like bargaining because the starting point also is very high so so i last two or three shows i walked out without anything mm-hmm. that's because uh there is your article very beautifully describes it that the artists think they get slotted if they price the painting at a particular level they will get slotted in the junior artists so mm. your categorization and labelization is a is a thing which is inbuilt in our culture you see in every field whether it's cricket whether it's cinema you just have the top 10 or 20 and everybody follows them madly so if it is cricket then you have your two or three superstars if your movies you have your two or three superstars nobody else wants to look at the others hmm. it's 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 a, it's a lazy man's world i would feel because you mm-hmm. you just have to look at the you know the top and you don't it's it's hard work to look at somebody who is not up there and glaring mm-hmm. in your face you have to keep searching searching looking looking it's it's a lot of time i have spent a lot of time going through so many exhibitions spending time and coming out disappointed sometimes coming out with some rare gem so this phenomenon of uh, pricing has to be addressed uh, even in the movies if you have my father made two or three films in the past is no more but those we, we could see that there were people entering the industry nahi 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 hum ye role nahi lenge ye to choti film hai hamara wo image ban jayega ki hum the mm. artist hai so they mm. would not take any roles mm. smaller producers mm. in the end what happened they would feel frustrated they would change the profession so that's wrong you will see so many superstars of today who have started with the small roles very small roles and they have failed they did small role they failed but then they have come out on the top so they should the artist should take a lesson ki you can 
start small. You can, I mean, Hussein, you know, I mean, he, if he was waiting in a reception, the, the story, the reception yes. he was waiting to be called in. We made yes. a, picked up a pad of paper and he sketched it. And as he entered, he handed over to the receptionist. Hmm. So he had no qualms. Are, mera itna ka painting mein isko de hmm. He just gave it. He would yes. sketch and give to people. No, that's marketing. Yes. Hmm. That is what the artists don't know. They don't know marketing. Yes. So how do they come? They just put a price and feel that is marketing. So hmm. this has to be done. They have to get themselves felt, heard, make stories about themselves. So I don't know. You mentioned in your article about digital marketing hmm. and that uh, people, the younger artists would straight away jump up to another sphere. Uh, mm. bypassing all the art events and the bypassing mm. galleries. Mm. So they would say, well, maybe we have to see that. Mm. Uh, but then the presentation on the website has to improve. I mean, yours is one of the few websites which is easy to look at, easy to browse. But there are websites which you feel lost. So <laughs> pricing, everything is price on request, price on request, price on request. So, yes. And so the quality, the medium is not mentioned, Some, mm. sometimes sizes are not mentioned. It's a waste of time, you know, you're not going to send an email and wait for the information. Very, very correct, very correct. You, you just... So, you according, feel, yeah, sorry, go ahead. According to you, uh, uh, today's younger artists should concentrate more on realistic pricing. Absolutely. Um, yes, yes. Because and, and when they um, made the mark, they can charge what the hell they want. Hmm. Once they've made it, yes. they can do whatever. I mean, everybody will pay. People are paying. Yeah. The yes. current auctions. I mean, hmm. I've seen the auction by Pandols, Saffron Art, hmm. Astaguru, and hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, I think one more is there. Uh, Spid and Hammer or something. So, yeah, so yeah, all yeah, these yeah, auctions, yeah, yeah. Okay. they have done extremely well yes so yes. then it comes back to the same thing most of there are masters mm. so the masters there's always a demand and it's an easy way out you see yes. the label yes. you don't think much about the painting whether it's mm. telling a story or whether it's not or the colors are right <laughs> so you, you go for it. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's it yeah no, actually yeah but... My experience is that it is much easier. A person definitely thinks from the investment point of view, also, uh, they definitely want to adore their wall, but at the same time. They feel what after a few years or whether it has a resale value. There comes in the only senior established artists. If I have a Ram Kumar or a Hussain or Suz or Raza, I have these top 10 artists. I know I'll be able to dispose them of whenever I like it. But whereas when there is a younger artist, to resell their paintings. And when the resale option is not available at this stage, the pricing has to be very, very, very reasonable. <laughs> I feel that uh, our painting smaller artworks at a very very low price so that at least his name gets circulated Correct. and Absolutely. he becomes a little more popular uh, I, I, uh, I, I, uh, you are aware of the art market very well do you feel 
there is a role of galleries, art galleries, in educating the art buyers. Do the art galleries have something that they can educate art buyers? Yes, uh, they they are uh, like Saffron Art. I know are holding a lot of uh, talks. The, then there is a gallery one zero one. There are quite a few galleries who are holding talks, walkthroughs. That's happening. Mm -hmm. At least in Bombay, I know. Other cities, I'm not sure. But Bombay, the mm -hmm. gallery are doing a lot of things to educate mm -hmm. the public. I uh, I can see a lot happening there. Uh, what needs to be done is that people don't have the time to go and physically mm -hmm. listen. So thanks to the corona, people, there are now virtual events being held by some galleries. They're calling artists. Mm -hmm. And they're having uh, delving into their consciousness, and they're finding mm. makes them tick. So that all is going on. It's a good sign. More of that would be nice. A little. But somehow, uh, I sometimes feel that galleries concentrate on a very small number of artists. Um. A particular gallery will promote or exhibit or showcase only a fewer number, say 5, 7, 10, 15 artists. Whereas India has lakhs and lakhs of artists. What the other artists should do that they also get promotion. Because galleries are limited and they have their own choices. No, it's the galleries are doing the right thing, I would say. You know, the specialization is the name of the game. So if okay. Warren Buffet or Rakesh Jujunwala just buys five or seven scripts and ignores mm. 15,000 companies, mm. so the companies have to fend for themselves and find other investors. Everybody's not going to get a Warren Buffet and Rakesh ah. to put them, you know, park their money in. So, so what do they do? No, they simply have to work harder. That's a, I mean, obvious very, very thing. I, I don't very, think very they're struggling, but they're not working to increase the creativity is, is very bad. The creativity is completely lacking. Uh, the same great civilization, what we were at once upon a time in which the world would follow us. And right now we find that we are copying the Western art and we are uh, yes, not yes. having any originality of our own. Uh, tribal art uh, doesn't go beyond a certain price level. Uh, tribal art is very imaginative. Uh, there are some artists who are come up and are having a name for themselves. But what these struggling artists can do is they can hold events in their own colleges. Mm -hmm. More often, JJ is holding an annual event. So yes. I went there as a buyer. Mm -hmm. So I express my interest in four or five paintings. Mm -hmm. But that marketing was lacking. It's like, it's okay, you buy, you don't buy, it's fine. That was the mm -hmm. attitude I felt. I hope I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. was what I felt. You know, it, it was not, yes, you know, there was no killer drive that somebody has come to see and let's See that what he can do, and you know, on your own talking about a certain artist, artist ke baare mein kuch bata diya. Wo to usko samne wale ko bhi interest aata hai ki you know there's somebody taking interest, so he feels good about it. Usko bhi lag raha hai ki somebody wants out to teach him, coach him on certain people. Hmm. So, so that interactivity happens, and you get involved. And then you make a deal. Otherwise, it's just you walk in, walk out. So I think the colleges can play a big role in holding events, yes. calling people, educating them. I but mean, they have the place. They don't have to treat them with wine and cheese. You know, so it's not allowed in schools anyway. So, right. so, <laughs> so, huh, so. 
आपका कहना यह है कि आर्टिस्ट को थोड़ा इंटरेक्टिव और होना पड़ेगा थोड़ा yes. आ, अपने बारे में अपने आर्ट के बारे में बता पाने की क्षमता होनी चाहिए बिल्कुल ही शुड बी एबल टू कन्वर्स विद द बायर करेक्ट दैट इज व्हिच इज लैकिंग टुडे यस एकदम थैंक यू फॉर क्रिस्टलाइजिंग माय लॉन्ग <laughs> winded thing it was a very short two line one i'm i'm glad that message now can be spread easier yes right. yes, yes, yes 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 yeah acha abhi uh pichle kuch samay se pichle 5 mahine ho gaye uh we are suffering from this lockdown corona virus covid 19 everything and galleries are mostly closed and i do not know when in near future these galleries may or may not reopen under these circumstances according to you what would be the role of online art galleries do you think uh, similar buyers would come on online galleries and buy artwork see if it will work for lower pricing lower priced and branded works it will work for these two categories only okay uh, if there is something which is mid priced and not a mm. brand it will not sell if it is and now you look at the paintings on ebay and amazon mm. they are regular landscapes they are regular things you know so people buy those uh, very mm. cheap 1000 yes. 2000 so very cheap mm. so So, the average man he will use he will not look at okay, what is the message what is this what is that so who some that comes at a later stage of mm. his collection like the first thing a new collector does is to buy a buddha so 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 buy a so there's I mean, a lot of scope to make buddha and sell them right so yes so then he evolves thoda then landscapes mm. he will evolve to abstract so to so evolution hai to so, usme the, they have to be sensitive the galleries have to be sensitive to a buyer what kind of buyer so usko jaise google and all they collecting lot of information on everybody mm-hmm. and they're targeting mm-hmm. him for the ads in the same way galleries also they have to see who has logged in what is he all about what does he want what is his house like तो वो सब उसका इन्फॉर्मेशन कैसे भी वे कलेक्ट करके देन गिव हिम व्हाट ही वांट्स बी इंटरेक्टिव विद हिम इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सर या दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टास्क यस यू गॉट टू नो मेहनत सब चीज में बिना मेहनत का कुछ नहीं पैसा नहीं है ये तो हम तो वी हैव वी हैव वर्क द हार्ड वे माय फादर्स वर्क द हार्ड वे वी हैव रियली वी बिलीव दैट देयर इज नो फ्री लंच एंड इफ यू गेट अ फ्री लंच यू गो टू लूज दैट वेरी सून so right. you uh, they have to strive they have to get to know the customers and uh, that is why many galleries they only specialize in a few so they exactly know what type of customers come in and then they can get right. better very people. correct yeah hmm. nahi aap jaise bataya ki lower pricing art, artworks can be sold on online gallery uh aapka ye lower price ka definition kya hai up to what amount abhi jaise abhi 2 by 1 hua hai तो पांच हजार से और थ्री बाई फाइव हुआ बीस पच्चीस हजार दैट इज दट आई ओके मतलब यू मीन टू से दैट आर्ट वर्क अब बिटवीन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड वन लैक वुड बी डिफिकल्ट टू सेल ऑन या 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 वुड बी डिफिकल्ट टू सेल ऑन नो 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 आई वुड से ओवर वन लैक ओवर you i have been to so many of our indian websites mm-hmm. and you find artworks uh, up to 2 lakhs uh, which i know the value because i can see it. they don't write the price so mm-hmm. you can see the level of sold 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 mm-hmm. kafi jagah pe wo sold dikhne se so i can make an estimate ki up to 2 huh. lakhs the movement hai huh. they can be sold because yeah foreigners for also for a higher price ha huh. for a buyer of a higher price painting He would definitely like to have a feel and look, and 
uh, touch the painting and feel it. And then only not he'll go the and buy masks. Not for the known names. He will Achha. he will overlook, yeah. He will not want to touch and feel for the known names. Okay. He will if he if he like the prices, he will pick it up. Okay, okay. You, a uh, nice condition report. The condition report mm -hmm. has to be elaborate. Provenance very, has to be very, very, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Elaborate um, condition report. One, one more thing I would like to know from you. Um, you have been a good collector according to normal standing. Uh, when you go to buy an artwork, what actually you look into it? that attracts you? Okay, so having seen thousands, one thing I want to see, I, I'm not repeating basically what I'm already bought. So huh. If there's a particular landscape I've got, I will not like to have the same repetition. Okay. I would I would like to have different artists in my portfolio. So mm -hmm. that makes up for the variety. So if anybody, if a stranger walks in and mm -hmm. he wants to see who are the different artists and what were their styles, mm -hmm. so I would, I as a, I could, as a friend, show him, look, this is this artist, this guy SS style, this guy style SS. So I could be able to, you know, distinguish between the different art, explain, ki ye aise mm -hmm. aise. I would like, there's a, it has to have meaning. Any, uh, it has to have novelty. Okay. A, yeah. That's unfortunate that we find very little meaning and novelty in mm -hmm. the works. So, and uh, some subtlety has to be there also. It, the meaning, okay. Them, uh, sabko, madam, oh, we have to wear a mask. So, some mask laga ke characters dikha diye. No, that is too mm. obvious. No, we are, we are all trained by a mask. So, we are, huh. everybody knows that we are rich. So, masks are painful. So, you say, oh, people wearing masks. Oh, my God. So, that message is so direct. Uska, uska utna matla, maja nahi hai. Oh, thoda indirect message ho. Uska jada maja hai. So, that, so that message, it should, I mean, you've got to think to see what is the message. It's not it should be obvious. So, so uska uska intelligence very, very, very nice. Uska, you, you need intelligent artists on your walls. Mm -hmm. So, so that uh, this is busy. Of course, the colors and all that. It has to be aesthetic. That also is important. Yeah. In short, in short, I'll summarize it. That uh, there has to be some meaning. Uh, to the artwork, there has to be something pleasing about the artwork, and of course, the aesthetics has to be very good. Yes. Okay. Uh, when you go to buy a painting, uh, there are hundreds of paintings in a gallery. Uh, while selecting a painting, do you also look at the resume of the artist? Do you think where this artist come from, whether he is educated in art or not, what is the length of his experience in art? Do you look after that? Yes, when I'm buying the lower price works, I don't. Okay. Uh, except when I'm holding a catalog, which mm -hmm. easily gives that, I would love to know. Mm -hmm. It gives me a... So, but if it is the catalog in this huge shows, don't give... There's very little space in the catalog to give up. The history of the artist. So at mm -hmm. that time, you have to go by the look and feel of what you're seeing. But if you're going for uh, expensive works, like mm -hmm. anything, if I'm going over over one lakh or something, then mm -hmm. I'm, I go the detail of the artist. Very good. Very, good. very, good. very, good. very good. Um, now, one more thing. Uh, I know when any person starts collecting, it's only and only due to his passion and his love for art. But after a certain while, 
after collecting a few paintings do you think art as an investment yes if it grows beyond a certain point then you have to feel because you are here for a limited time you are you are a guest of this planet earth <laughs> for a limited time so what happens to that when you go you don't want yes. your family members to curse you itna sara kuda chhod ke gaya you know <laughs> so not everybody loves paintings not everybody loves you know art so to each his own so if oh. some some family member doesn't like it then he should be able to cash it yes and and therefore one for the heavier works smaller mm. works smaller price works i can indulge in my uh, you know uh, in my ho- is in my ho- hobby and in my personal whims and fancies but if i'm mm-hmm. spending family money for something you know more expensive then i have to take everybody into consideration very very good very correct very correct acha apan baat kar rahe the uh, what exactly has gone wrong with the art market yes apan dekh rahe hain ki pichle kareeb 10 12 saal se um the slope of my art has gone down people have reduced drastically of buying art and most of the time i have heard is that it is because of the economic slowdown people mostly say that bhi uh, mandi chal rahi hai um dhanda nahi hai economic slow down hai isliye art is not selling but when we go to see the sales of other expensive gadgets like property hai luxury hai um televisions hai sofa sets hai so many other luxury items wahan itna steep fall nahi aaya hai because of the economic slow down do you think economic slowdown is one of the major reasons of not selling art the, the collectors of the high priced works are in a different league altogether okay. for them it doesn't matter mm-hmm. it's uh, they have so much that it doesn't matter to them this slow down so if you're talking now let's segregate to make this easy for me so if you're talking about the bigger higher priced there's no slow down because judging from the auctions uh it's fine everything is as usual you going for the lower categories uh i wouldn't be knowing because for sure jo events hote the openings hoti thi wo ekdam zero ho gayi hai so definitely fall to hai hmm. so because just the opportunity to buy isn't there and of course everybody is facing a challenge at staff ko you know you have to pay them salaries even then nothing is working so we have to see that it will be not look good on my part to spend money on a painting when there are people to be paid their salaries yes, right and yes, yes. and we are giving a cut also to the, the people uh, whatever the cut may be 20 30 <coughs> <or> whatever <coughs> so it's not a good message hmm. i would think from personally this is my personal thing we we have to conserve the money for hmm. how long this goes we don't know yes 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 iske liye wo conservation ka wo point aa jata hai so definitely you're right that's effect hmm. but uh, this situation has come in only past 4 5 6 months the economic slowdown or the sale of artworks has reduced over past one decade yeah uske pehle uh, what was the major reason that good buyers were shying away buyers nahi aa rahe the maine i i will tell you my personal experiences uh over around 10 or 12 shows that i have had at jahangir art gallery um more than four or five shows 
I did not sell a single painting. And at least in three, four shows, I've been lucky that I've sold about uh, uh, 10 or a dozen uh, paintings. But overall, when I go to see that you pehle sale hota tha, wo pichle I don't see any, I mean, uh, it's all about pricing, so inflation is and incomes have also gone up. So I don't know, how, how do, there is complete lack of data in the market to make an analysis. So if somebody can compile this data, so when you can see that this price was inflation, then this price was printing, so this was WPI is here, WPI is there, but the, both the charts are not following the same curve. So we can make an analysis. Mm. But you, as somebody from the industry, is feeling it. So definitely, sales have gone down, as you say, because you, you are hands on with that and you know. So the reason could, two, three, two, we are not sure whether you are buying the right genuine product. There have that is one of the major reasons. Mm -hmm. ah, so, uh, even if I could afford it, mm -hmm. I would be very wary of buying uh, the masters mm -hmm. because you never know. So, uh, that is one thing. And the second thing, what has happened is that Pele mm -hmm. artist could paint karta tha. Mm -hmm. Abhi, wo, assist, many, some artists, wo log, <laughs> wo, to wo, jo product hai, Oh, it is uh -huh. not keep by 100% the artist coming out. Uh -huh. So, it is my personal feeling. I don't know. I you are right. Uh -huh. So, I don't, but I don't think this is the reason. As I say, uh -huh. just flow me nickel gap. But, the, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but there's, see, people are having a lot of other places to spend the money. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many designer brands. This, and people want to have those brands. They want to have that mm. car which is so evident to the world. <laughs> yes. They want to have a fantastic phone, super super memory phone. So mm. painting is you're not walking around with a painting. Hey, look, I got this painting. You know, mm. you, it's there in the house. Only you invite somebody over to your house. He you knows your social whatever status. So, mm. so people want to spend on goods which are more in your face. This is what I feel. Very, 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 very correct answer, sir. Very, very uh, correct. Because so once uh, that is satiated, that hunger, see, we are evolving after because of after independence, we are, we are, we are like a startup. We are starting from almost zero. So our first, it was food, food, then clothing, shelter. Once all those basic needs are fulfilled, then you will have to painting on your painting. Very, very you, you got your mobile, you got your uh, car, uh, you got everything. Then you will come to art. Very, 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 very correct, sir. Very correct. Priorities have changed over the past a decade yeah. and 15 years. Yes. yes. Very, very correct. Sir, finally, uh, before we think of closing down this session, uh, I would like to know what would you advise to the younger artists. Younger artists, ko be realistic. Uh, try to get yourself in as many homes as you can mm. by being affordable. Mm. That itself becomes your uh, selling point. Because mm. when people, when they start visiting each other's houses in, in some few weeks, so then mm. people will see how it is, it's a conversation piece. People will talk about it. And then you say do, do se teen. I mean, mere ghar mein bhi log aate hai, they see a painting. Are ye kiska painting hai? Mujhe bhi de lao. So, as you hote hai, hote hai. A lot of people have told me, and ki, so I have introduced them to that uh, work, and then I have told them about it. Then they have got it on their own, or they have, I have introduced them. So, that is the way it happens, you know. Word of mouth, coffee hai isme. Or fir, uh, then you have uh, the brand names for which you don't need word of mouth. You just mm -hmm. need the money. 
Yes. <laughs> so the, uh, the younger artists have to be make their presence felt. They have to realize that there are lakhs and lakhs and lakhs of artists. Neto, I feel so sorry, you know, when I go to these small openings when they call me, and I go just to boost the morale. So, mm -hmm. I feel for them, and I wish the government can look at them because they should not underestimate the numbers of artists. Uh, mm -hmm. Even there are, I mean, if you look at it it's in a vote bank terms, also it's a huge vote bank. <laughs> if you look yes. at it, yeah, the, the, the thousands and lakhs of artists. So yes, if something yes. can be done for them, some an encouragement, some kind of awards, some kind of. Uh, I mean, abhi aap dekhe na artists ke liye there is no proper awards. Kuch hai aapke liye? Yes. Yeah. How many of them have got those Padma Shrees and how many of them have got? Very, 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 very few. You you have cricketers, you have art film artists, but how many artists are getting this? I don't know. I mean, uh, this is my hearing. It's uh, the proportion is less among the artists mm. to get the national awards. So. Mm. That kind of encouragement, and even even private awards. Uh, I mean, yes. there's an award for, award for uh, best year, best who. Many awards are there. Every other day, there's an award ceremony. Mm -hmm. so, before the COVID. So, what is it for them? Has any private for come and for it? See, best uh, post, best uh, sculptor award, best. Who mm -hmm. in Bombay Art Society is small, small. It's going on. There's no. Big event, big sponsors mm. Mm. come and honor these artists. Yes. So, okay, now this is a sidetrack. I'm sorry. Chote uh, mm. artists, uh, it's, all, it's all about marketing. Whether you go all digital right. marketing or whether you, whether, you know, that's they have to make themselves felt. Right, right. And they should be more creative. This, this kind of creativity, nothing's going to happen. Nobody's going to buy anything. You, okay. you, you have to try a new medium. You have to try new ways of doing it. You know, you have to be different. That's all. Thank you. Now, copy yeah. work is not going to work. Sorry? Copy work is not going to work. No, I won't say it's copy work, but it's very regular. Oh, that lady is looking like that. Oh, oh, aisa animal hai. Oh, you know, so copy no hota hai. There, there are some, you can call it inspiration. You know, yeah. that's a better word. So, so there are a lot of inspired. I, you, I won't buy a painting because it is so close to a raza, or it looks so uh -huh. close to. A, so I automatically reject those. Uh -huh. You know, I, I, I don't want somebody feeling coming into my house. Oh, he, he cannot afford a real raza. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> got it. Thank you. Yeah. Over. Great, great, Ajay Kanti. It was so nice talking to you. Uh, we are all highly enlightened and uh, uh, this is a subject which can go on and on and on for yeah, a very yeah, long period. Long, yeah. But uh, we will have to put a stop somewhere. Thank you very much for being with us. and I should thank you. Uh, helping our younger artists. Thank you, sir. Sir, anytime. Thank you so much. And thank thanks you, to you for organizing this. Such a good, noble motive. Uh, very it's, it's my it's my pleasure sir thank you thank so you. much